So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the uh, send an email using MIT App Inventor 2. This doesn't uh, actually create an email program, rather it uses the email that's attached to your tablet or your phone and piggybacks off of that. So you're going to see I have simply a couple labels and three text boxes open. So the first text box is for the email address, then the subject, then the text of the email itself. But the key on this one is the activity starter. So if you come to connectivity, we're going to bring in the activity starter, which is what we're going to use to start your email on the tablet or the phone that this is attached to. So I want to come down to my button. And when my send button is clicked, I'm going to set that activity starter to start an activity. So the action that I wanted to do is grabbing a text box and I need to type in this exactly, Android period intent period action period view in capital letters. What this is doing is it's taking the activity starter and starting this action on your Android phone or tablet. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come back to your activity starter and we're going to say uh, we're going to start the data that we want. Well the data is what we're getting from our text box. So I'm going to come here and go up, come up to join and I'm going to have to grab in a few more strings for this. And I think I should be able to good with five. And that string just opens it up. And the first thing I want is a text box that simply just says my mail to. Oh, I wasn't inside the box. Let's try this again. Mail to. Meaning who we're sending this mail to. And then I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to skip one and I'm going to say question line, uh, question mark subject equals. And again, this is all preset by your, uh, your inner, your program that's, or your email program on your existing phone or tablet. And the ampersand body equals. And I know I'm going to need another string now. I needed actually one more, so I'm going to attach that at the bottom. So next I need to say is where am I going to get this text from? Well, I'm going to get this text from the email address text box, the text line there, so I can duplicate this. The subject I'm going to get from my uh, subject one that I created, that subject text box. And then I'm going to get the, the body of this or the text of this from the text box. So coinciding where am I getting these from and I'm joining them from these three text boxes on my design screen. Then I need to come to my activity starter and I'm going to call my activity starter to start this action. <clears throat> now the emulator doesn't have an email address attached to it so I can't show that on here but it does work. Now to give you an example of a project that was done by a student in the past on this they did a student attendance app. Now on the student attendance app, they would mark whether the student was here, tardy, or absent through checkboxes, and that would tally up here in the labels that you can see. They then had an option to send this out via the tablet or the mobile phone. So if we can, it just doesn't have to be the uh, subject that's being, so they're not actually creating any uh, text here, but what they're doing is they're calling their activity starter to email out in an email the, uh, that information of what was the label for who was present, uh, who was absent, and who was tardy. So they were emailing out those uh, text box counts uh, variables. So it just doesn't have to be an email that you type. You can also email out data or different parts of your screen. So I hope this helps as you're looking how to use the email function on the MIT App Inventor.